Away from that, members of Ijebu Saw Millers and Timber Contractors Association are, causing, are cautioning the Ogun state government against selling the only surviving forest reserve in the state to foreigners. They say the economy of Ogun East depends on the forest reserve as thousands of direct and indirect employ employment are created across different sawmills in the state. TVC News Kazim Malawe reports. These are members of Ijebu Sawmillers and Timbers Contractors Association. They say they survive on the forest reserve in Ijebu land and are worried with the current development in the area as they allege that the state government has leased the major part of the reserve to a foreign company. They noted that they are generating more than 600 million naira to the post of the state government and help the state to reduce insecurity by creating employment opportunities for thousands of unemployed youths in the state. They want the government to rescind its decision on the lease of the forest reserve and to allow the indigents to continue to manage the affairs of the reserve as it has been for decades. In the local market, this bush is feeding over three million. So this is how it goes. We start from the sawmillers, uh, from the contractors to the sawmillers, from the sawmillers to the wood sellers, from the wood sellers to the users, from the users to the ends of the consumers. I will implore the Open State Government to hear the voices of the masses and make sure that what we are benefiting from that place is more than what you can ever think of. But we have not defaulted the government in our remittance to the government, therefore, we, we see no reason why our people should be rendered jobless. While reacting on behalf of the state government, the Commissioner for Information in Ogun State claimed that the concession of the forest reserve was done before the incumbent administration and that they are working on the matter. The concessioning of some part of the forest there wasn't done by this administration was inherited and from the records that we have there are i think it was called there was concession to two nigerian companies and uh, the ownership they are indigenous of Ogun state as well but we are, we, look, we are looking to their problems and i'm sure there will be an amicable solution to their complaints he called for calm noting that the governor of the state will not do anything that will affect the welfare and economy of his people Kazimolowe, TVC News, Ijebode.